How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I hate that. I really hate that. Yeah, sorry about that. It's fine. Um, how excited are you for tonight? I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a it's been a long time coming, and uh, I know we worked really hard on this, especially Craig and I. And uh, we're excited to see how it goes. What is exactly is going on tonight that you are excited? So right now we're at the first ever 3RK Championship. Uh, this is the first one we're doing. Uh, last year and past years, it's been the uh, the American E-Cart uh, Championship Playoffs, which is where we would pick a winner for our uh, Three Rivers Karting to represent us, and we would send them off to wherever the American E-Cart Championship uh, was taking place that year. Uh, so that doesn't exist anymore, and now we turned it into our own thing. So we're here, the championship is here right now, and uh, we're gonna pick out our winner to represent the company as a whole. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Nice, nice. Um, how difficult was the transition between the e-cart championship and to our very own career of karting championship? Uh, it was a little, uh, it was a little weird, I would say that, but uh, I mean, it wasn't hard. Um, we're basically doing the same thing we've done before in the past. Uh, it was definitely difficult to say goodbye to them because it was a lot of fun uh, being incorporated with them, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, yeah. But it was also it was it was also a lot of fun, you know, because it, we got to make it, you know, officially 3RK branded and uh, Pittsburgh branded. If that, uh, you'll know what I mean tonight. Uh, there's something really really big. There's a few surprises that are happening tonight that uh, we kept a uh, complete secret from the public. And uh, when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, it's definitely Pittsburgh themed. So it's 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 uh, exciting to have the championship here at home in Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh really likes that. So it was really cool to make it like our own thing, you know. So, but it was also very sad to see them go. We'll miss them. Was there any specific location before this that you enjoyed sending people to the Card Championship? Uh, I think it was two years ago. Two years ago it was in Florida, and um, I know that was really exciting because uh, that was like the first one that happened since like all the cancellations with COVID stuff like that. From what I remember, it was canceled like a few times for the past couple years, and then it was, that year it was 2022. So 2022 it was like three years worth of um, championships put together. Okay, and uh, they got to like finally go all out. Uh, last year was also pretty fun too it's bittersweet because it was a fun memory uh, just because I know uh, we were all planning to go down but then it ended up just being Daryl because the championship actually happened uh, it ended up being opening weekend for Carts in the Dark so unfortunately we all had to stay behind we had to deal with that monster of an event um, pun intended really and then uh, Daryl went off so it was like there was a lot going on that weekend so it's just it's a, it's a nice memory that I have of uh, the championship last year but they were all exciting it was always awesome to uh, be incorporated with that and be involved with all the other party facilities too so uh, you got me for like five more minutes man my agents gonna be calling you over telling you to wrap it up um, here so Oh, he's thinking. Are there any, he's thinking. Are there any contestants tonight that you think in the past hold a very high chance of winning? Or are there new people coming tonight that you don't know about? Uh, I'd say it's a little bit of both, really, because um, our league has really grown and expanded out to new people in the past year. So it's going to be really exciting to see what their reaction is to how the championship works, stuff like that, because it's very different to a league night. Um, a lot of people think it's the same thing, but it's it's very different. And uh, But yeah, but then there's also returning ones. Um, our last year's winner is returning tonight, too. Uh, so we'll see who takes it home. Um, but there's a very good chance that it'll be someone new. So never know. We'll see, I guess. So what other future events do we have in store for Three Rivers Karting? Uh, future events. Okay, so we got the championship today. 
And then next week we have Christmas in July, which is an uh, online event. Uh, it's the first one we've ever done before. Uh, there we're going to be uh, pushing like team building activities and corporate events for Christmas time because uh, those are very popular every holiday season. So our marketing campaign is going to start for those next Thursday on the 25th. Uh, we have uh, Joe. He's a arcade YouTuber. He's going to do a meet and greet up in the uh, arcade uh, the following Tuesday on the 30th, which is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of people like those. And then uh, we're already planning Carts in the Dark, so it's going to be it's going to be bigger. Uh, it's going to be more nights and uh, more things to do. So it's it's going to be uh, pretty exciting. Uh, that's a big event. That's probably the biggest thing that I have to work on all year long is Carts in the Dark. So uh, it's a big machine. It takes a lot of people. Uh, so it's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited, and I'm also really nervous about it too. But you know that's that's natural. So Sweet. that's all the questions I have for you today, sir. Uh, thank you for the interview, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you. <laughs>